Hello guys, Sanjay here and welcome back to a new video where we are going to talk about the best Android Audio ROM available for the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4. I have already done a same type of video for the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3 which will be linked in the i button over here or in the description box below just in case if you have the Redmi Note 3 too and just to prove that this is Redmi Note 4 as you can see this is the Redmi Note 4 and before I tell you guys uh, which ROM is uh, by, by the title you already know the ROM's name but let's go into system let's go into about phone as you can see this is Cardinal AOSP ROM which is a customizable ROM there are not lot of customization options but there are few which are extremely good and I'll tell you guys why I chose this ROM specifically over other ROMs which are available for the Redmi Note 4 and this is one of the best ROMs that I have chosen but there are many other similar ROMs which will be very stable too those links will be present in the description box below so do check the description box once before you flash this ROM too. One great thing about this ROM is that it supports OT updates. Like if the developer releases an update, you will get that incremental OT update here directly and you, you will have to download it obviously and it will get flashed through TWRP recovery. I'll highly recommend you to use Red Wolf TWRP recovery which I'll show you guys in a bit. And maintainer for this device is Satish K who has done some amazing work so huge shout out goes to Satish for developing such an amazing ROM for the Redmi Note 4. This ROM is based on Android 8.1.0 uh, so that's why we are getting this Oreo and uh, the security patch level must be December 5 and it is. You will get the latest security patch update if you are on this ROM or any other custom ROM as compared to official MIUI 9. Now let's go back and uh, let me just give you a normal overview. You get pixel launcher here with very minimal applications. I installed Google micro package which will be linked in the description box below and I have been using this ROM for almost more than two days and the performance was excellent super smooth. When I was scrolling through Twitter feed there was no like no lag issues there was nothing like that. When I was using the Honor 7x which was released in 2017 like few days back uh, the experience was not extremely smooth whereas on this particular ROM which is a custom ROM not even made by Xiaomi, uh, developer is not going to get paid for doing such an awesome work and the ROM's performance was extremely good. I played some normal games, I played some normal games like Clash of Clans, uh, Subway Surfers and Temple Run and those games had no issues whatsoever. Uh, basically many times on custom ROMs you may uh, like experience some sort of lag when it comes to gaming because the GPU is not very optimized for that particular purpose but on this ROM that's not an issue at all. Now let's talk about the fingerprint sensor which is present at the back of this device and yes both FPC and GoodX are working on this device with this particular ROM so that's great too. I keep my finger here and the device will get unlocked as you can see or it did not. If I keep my finger for little bit longer and it will get unlocked. The fingerprint sensor response is not the quickest but it does work 95% of the times. I did experience that the uh, fingerprint sensor did not work sometimes but it is working now. When, I, when I'll say that it is not working it will start working and when I'll say it works really fine it will not get unlocked. Like, but it is working super fine. I don't think so that you will have any type of issues with the fingerprint sensor. Camera is one of the biggest letdown on any custom ROM and the default camera app on this device is very basic. Let me just get my Batman and when I try to click a picture, the shutter speed is not that great. It is kind of normal in my opinion and the pictures clicked are sort of okay-ish. Uh, like it's good. I won't say that's bad but it's not up to the mark or not what uh, the stock MIUI ROM offers. But if you install Google camera application which is present here, interface will completely change. You will get auto HDR plus here. You can keep the HDR plus on and you can click pictures. Let me just click one more picture and let me just show you. So this is the picture which I clicked with the Google camera application. I'll put both the photos side by side on the screen right now and you can see the difference. This picture was clicked with the stock camera application which comes with the ROM and this picture was clicked with Google camera application which I installed separately on this ROM. And yes Google camera app will work on this device with HDR plus support. When it comes to video you can record 4k videos up to 30 fps with the rear facing camera and front facing camera is limited to 1080p. If you go into BSG mod settings then from here you can change tons of things like for from model you can select pixel 2 I have the pixel 2 here which also has HDR plus mode obviously Redmi Note 4 is not going to perform as good as the, this pixel 2 XL because of the hardware limitations but you can mimic the performance of pixel 2 on this device too like uh, select pixel 2 let's go back and if I try to click the same picture where is my Batman okay it's here 
and this picture is clicked with the pixel 2 as default setting in the google camera application i got a query on twitter asking me about the best rom for redmi note 4 and that user was very worried about the multitasking performance of that custom rom let me just show you all the applications running in the background right now so these many applications are more than enough for any normal user if you use more than these then buy the oneplus 5t 8 gb ram version if you want everything to be in the memory like if i open this application it was still in memory oh my god that's that's i did not expect such a good camera like multitasking performance let me just open this uh, let's open temple run oh my god it's in memory i played this game almost two hours back and uh, it's still in memory that's an awesome thing let's just try another application maybe instagram okay it's in memory too so when it comes to multitasking performance there is no issue at all if you are a multitasking freak then install this rom today it will perform much much better as compared to miui 9 miui 8 miui 7 6 5 10 11 any miui version because this is an aosp rom on the 4 gb ram version and yes i have the 4 gb ram version with 64 gb of internal storage and this particular rom will work on 2 gb 3 gb and 4 gb ram version redmi note 4 so do not worry about that battery life on the miui 9 with the xiaomi redmi note 4 was amazing i did not have any complaints but uh cardinal os takes it one step further my friend shreyas who was using this rom cardinal os rom as his uh, default uh, my friend shreyas who was using this my friend shreyas who was using this rom as his daily driver got screen on time of 9 hours and 35 minutes and uh, he had charged the device one day ago meaning that he did not charge it once again in middle of something so nine hours i did not get nine hours of screen on time frankly speaking you can expect five to six hours of screen on time out of this rom very easily if you use 4g and uh, wi-fi at the same time i geo 4g with volt is hello are you going to light like that you are light like that light like that light अरे So as you saw right now, the call quality was extremely good. Speaker quality was extremely good. I did not have any type of issues with Geo 4G network on and uh, that was Saurabh Nahar from All About Technologies. He makes some awesome content which will be linked in the description box below too. Now let's talk about some software customizations which are present in this device because that's the most important thing when it comes to a custom ROM and people install custom ROM because they want to customize their device. There are not tons of customization options similar to Resurrection Remix ROM but there are few uh, named under the wings of like cardinal os in general you will find normal ui style which can be changed to light you will get white notification panel if you do not want that change it to dark and it will change it to dark immediately you can keep it wallpaper based where if the wallpaper has more dark color in it then it will change to dark automatically but if it has very bright colors then the notification panel should change to white and it did change over here in status bar you can change quick settings right now it's 3 by 2 i can make it 5 by 2 too like yeah i can make it 5 by 2 or 5 by 3 okay i, I did make it 5 by 3 but i do not have even even but i do not have enough options over here so let me just add few so as you can see right now it's 5 by 3 i do not want that 4 by 3 is the best in my opinion uh, this is the same case with Oxygen OS 5.02. Network traffic can be enabled, which is one of my most favorite features. And I believe that every single stock ROM should have this feature too. Double tap on the status bar and it will go to sleep immediately. As you can see, double tap and it will go to sleep. Very nice feature. Once again, let me just show you that fingerprint sensor works fine. Yeah, it was a little bit slow once again, but no complaints as this is a custom ROM. In lock screen, you can change few things like you can enable FP unlock even after rebooting the device. If you're going to recent, you can add this clear all FAB, like clear all applications, which will be present here. Click over here and all the applications will go away. And I guess that's pretty much it for the best custom ROM available for the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4. And this is one of the best custom ROMs that I've chosen or I have used for this particular video. There are many other very stable ROMs which will be linked in the description box below. So don't forget to check the description box too. If you enjoyed this video then don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. If you want to know how to install this ROM then the guide will be linked in the description box below. So do check it out and uh, you can install this ROM very easily. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet then click on my face right now and get subscribed because many more awesome videos like these 
are going to come real soon on the channel. So yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for watching.